buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase. All right, y'all, dark matter tier list. I mean, there's not too many of them. I think we have 27 listed on here, but we're just going to go through and rank them pretty quick. I might do a Galaxy Opals tier list tomorrow if you guys are interested. So if you are, let me know in the comments section below. And if you guys haven't checked out the positional tier list or the uh, best cards tier list, both those will be linked in the description down below, although they're doing pretty well. So most of you guys have probably seen them. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe and all that wonderful stuff if you're new to the channel. So uh, we have the best of the best, the damn demon, the baby demon, the pretty damn solid, and the worst of the best tiers like we always do. Um, they just kind of work out and they're fun so uh for the worst of the best here we only have one card uh down here and that's gonna be dark matter russell westbrook um russell westbrook's just not really one of those cards that i think is too exciting um especially for me personally he's just kind of there um beta jumper decent dribble style normal timing on the jumper not really the most insane like just card out there i just don't really feel like he's that crazy um some of you guys can disagree, but I think uh, in the grand scheme of dark matters, especially when you see some of the guys we got above him, he's just kind of the worst that there is to offer. So uh, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, for the still least interior, we have uh, Thurl Bailey, Gary Payton, and Tracy McGrady. So Thurl Bailey, I think, is pretty solid. Jump shot 22 on the normal timing is pretty nice. I know people like the fundamental dribble style. He is a great defender. He's a nice guy in the post. You know, he's a good you know, all around dark matter, but I just don't think that he's next level, honestly. Like, he's good, but he's not, I don't know, just doesn't really jump out to me. Uh, Gary Payton, he's got um, his jumper on the normal timing, which is jump shot 40, and it's just way too baited, I think, at this point in the year. I don't know why they didn't give it to him on quick. Um, if they did, that would have been crazy. He's got the shoot the dribble style as well, and the guy is insanely good on the defensive end. He gets so good to the basket and finished pretty nicely. I think Gary Payton all around is a really good card um, that kind of gets... Uh, forgotten about because he's a collect level card so it takes a while to really get him but i do think he's nice uh trace from grady trey brick jumper on the normal timing is still a really easy to time jumper it's just sometimes you know you, you get contested when you think you shouldn't um that slasher dribble style really just isn't ideal for t mac he is a six foot eight guy that can run the two and the three uh which for a lot of people is really nice i think aside from the slower jumper and bad dribble style he's an amazing amazing card uh but obviously we're kind of waiting for one of those uh, Tracy McGrady's that can play the point guard position, go absolutely crazy, very quick jumper. Um, when that happens, I think most of us will get pretty excited for T-Mac. But this one, at least in my opinion, was underwhelming even when he dropped. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, boom, baby Damon. We're starting off with Steph Curry. Now, Curry uh, is amazing because his jumper is probably one of the easiest to time jumpers in the game. His Steph Curry jumper style is pretty nice. They actually gave this card some defense. He's got some slashing. So... Obviously, the uh, three-point hunting, great playmaking card is obviously there. Now, Curry does have some pretty good defense on the perimeter, but he's still definitely a pup when it comes to inside, so sometimes that can be a little bit annoying, uh, but he's still a good card. Uh, Kobe, uh, sadly, again, has his jumper timing on normal. I don't know why we'd ever have dark matters with normal timing jumpers, but, you know, 2K22 surprises us in many ways. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. He does have a great dribble style as well. Kobe, just, you know, dribble style just feels amazing. His defense is great. He's obviously an awesome slasher. But I think he's got that Kyrie Irving layup package, which I just absolutely hate. It just, like, it goes too fancy sometimes, and it does hurt him a little bit. But Kobe's still a great, great, great card. Uh, Shaq and Dwayne Howard are two pretty back-to-the-basket bigs, although Shaq's money from the midi if you can uh, get his jumper down and get open enough to actually take it, which is annoying. Uh, but both of these guys are going to be absolutely insane in the post. They're going to be great dunking over everybody and can actually finish a little bit. and uh, Or not finish a little bit, finish greatly. And it can play some great defense. Um, but I will say Dwight actually has his jumper on the quick timing and has the ability to shoot three. So with the shoe, a coach boost, Dwight's actually a really good center in 2K this year. Uh, John Morant, one of the most fun cards to use in the entire game. He's got the uh, Paul George jumper on quick. He's got the quick dribble style, that d row signature combo. He's got great defense, and the fun comes to the fact that you can get down to the paint whenever you want and dunk on literally everybody with this John Morant. It is insanely easy. It's insanely fun to do. You get all these mat nasty posters. He's just a fun card, man. Uh, LeBron James arguably has one of the worst dribble styles for the uh, you know name stay cards. But he has some pretty good defense. He has some great playmaking, some good finishing. He's a great shooter. The only thing that sucks is that he just can't really... He doesn't feel as bursty as some of the other cards in the game. That's really the only negative I can say for LeBron. Uh, Artis Gilmore, really insanely good when it comes to back to the basket, big kind of style. But has jump shot one on quick and has an 80 in his three-point shot. So he can be a good shooter. You have to add a load of badges to him to really get him to be crazy like that. But his defense is so locked down and his uh, inside presence, just dunking everybody, finishing easy, 
is so good that I do think Artis can uh, definitely find his way into the baby demon tier, especially with that defense, man. Uh, and then we got our uh, damn demon tier. We were starting off with the dentist, Terry, my man. Uh, he's got the uh, Rudy Gay jumper on quick and is insanely good. Terry just is one of those cars who plays better on defense. Maybe he should be. It's super funny, super slick, uh, obviously insanely expensive, but he's a great card. I don't think he's uh, that much better than his pink diamond, but it's still a really good card. Uh, Vince Carter got his Vince jumper, I think, on very quick, if I'm not mistaken. I, actually, I'm probably mistaken. It might be on just on normal quick. Uh, let me double check because I am i don't want to sound like it. Yeah, he got Vince Carter on very quick. Got the shifty dribble style. He's got that Scotty behind the back. Long at the layup package. Some great defensive tendencies. Awesome shooter. Awesome playmaker. Awesome defender. He's a great finisher. Like, Vince all around is really nice. I just don't love that sometimes his jumper pulls you in a little bit. Uh, but if it's easy to time, you'll be fine. I just wish he could play the point guard position, honestly. Uh, next up is Ray Allen on the card. I wish he could play the PG. If we, if this Dark Matter Ray Allen could play PG, I guarantee you more people would be excited about getting this Ray Allen because I got him and he's super nice, man. The Ray Allen jumper on quick is awesome. He's dunking on everybody. He feels super nice dribbling the ball. His defense is great. At six foot five, he's all right for the two. But if this Ray Allen could play PG, he'd be unreal. Uh, come on, Leonard. Um, Kawhi's jumper or dribble style is the same thing as uh, LeBron James. It's just not good. But he has that Ray Allen jumper on quick and is arguably the best defender in the entire game out there on the perimeter. And even inside, like Kawhi Leonard locks it down. So you got to give him some love for that. Uh, and I think Dan Demon's a pretty good spot for him to be. Uh, Carmelone. Carmelone jumper on quick. He's got the quick dribble style. He's six foot nine. He just literally does everything at a high level. Uh, he's just a good card. Alex English, uh, what I wish Carmelo Anthony would be, please, 2K, give us a good Carmelo Anthony like this Alex English, but he's got the uh, quick um, jumper timing on that Carmelo Anthony jumper, he's got that quick dribble style, he's got great defense, he's dunking on everybody like in some vicious ways, his playmaking is obviously insane, and he's got like Hall of Fame sniper, an absolutely amazing shooter, if we can get a Carmelo up with the level of this Alex English, he's going to be a god, because English is a collector level card and takes a long time to go up and get. Uh, Clay Thompson, one of the best 3D cards of the game. You got that Clay Thompson jumper on quick. You got some great defense. You got the chip, the dribble style, some great playmaking. His finishing can be a little bit lackluster, but I mean, it's still Clay. He's still smooth. Uh, Clyde Drexler, 6'7 point guard that dunks at everybody. I mean, it's going to be nice. Jump shot 5 on quick can be a little bit annoying, but it is easy to time. Uh, so for some people, maybe that jumper won't be the most ideal. But uh, personally, I think well, Clyde Drexler is a great card. But again, he's collect level, so it takes a damn long time to get him. Uh, Patrick Ewing got his jumper change and it's absolutely amazing. Jump shot four on quick. Ewing was always one of the best post guys in the game and one of the best paint defenders, like just one of the best rim protectors in the game. And now he has a great jumper and the ability to shoot as well on top of all that. Yeah, Patrick Ewing can sit there in the damn demon. He doesn't get demon because the best center in the game is up here and best of the best with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Jump shot 21 on very quick, missing some shooting badges, but he's insanely good defensively. He has a 91 speed with the... Uh, pace and space opal coach boost he has a 99 speed as a center he's locking it down in the paint he's shooting absolutely amazing threes he's finishing over everybody he's playmaking great yeah kareem's up there in the best of the best tier uh, michael jordan got his mj jumper on very quick and it is money let me tell you has a great dribble style he's dunking over everybody his defense is absolutely locked down like you would expect out of mj card he's just crazy good uh, Giannis is a 6'11 shooting guard, which is obviously going to be crazy. His jumper on the quick timing is really easy to time and is absolutely money. And this Giannis has the ability to actually badge up his shooting, which is awesome to see. If you are somebody who's gone ahead and bought Giannis, he doesn't feel like super cheesy. He can feel a little bit clunky because taller players lose stamina a lot faster. Uh, but Giannis is not going to let any other shooting guard really score on him or any really small forward score on him, uh, which is awesome to see. And his finishing in the paint is absolutely insane. Uh, Zion Williamson, once you get that Evo up, has jump shot three on very quick, and he absolutely does not miss with that. And then obviously Zion is one of the best just feeling rebounders in the game, just gets boards that he shouldn't, is dunking over everybody. His playmaking actually feels really nice after Evo. This Zion is one of the best cards in the game. Uh, Luka just has the most unguardable jumper in the game, has a great dribble style, just feels super nice on the core, is a 6'7 PG that locks it down defensively, and is just so annoying to go against on next gen that it's it honestly is frustrating. Uh, Chris Mullen, jump shot 22, very quick, shifty dribble style, one of the best um, just cards in the game, can curry side as well, at 6 foot 7 at the 2, he's a god, and last but not least, is the best shooting guard in the entire game right now, at least in my opinion, it is Cedric Maxwell, um, jump shot 3 on very quick, just like Zion, but he's 6 foot 8, and can play the 2, has the shifty dribble style, or quick, quick dribble style, he's dribbling around like crazy, some of the best defense in the game, he's dunking on everybody, and jump shot 3 on very quick is actually... The, the fastest jumper in the game right now so you cannot get contested when somebody's going up with that thing and it's just absolutely unreal uh so cedric and chris Mullen, obviously with this very quick jumpers are sitting up there on top 
Both these cards are insanely expensive to get, but once you do, yeah, they're pretty nice. So, uh, this is our Dark Matter tier list. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. Again, make sure you guys like the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. We are working on that road to 15k subscribers. Um, yeah, I'll do the Opal tier list if you guys want to see it tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what we're doing. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.